Hey everybody, how's it going? I have another microphone review here. I got another microphone from Fifine and it's a wireless microphone. So the price point is $39.99 US on the American Amazon website and it is $54.99 on the Canadian website and that's Canadian dollars. So with this, it comes with this microphone headset that you can uh, plug in, obviously. Um, and you plug that into uh, the transmitter here. Um, we'll take another look at that in a second. It also comes with this. This is what I'm most excited about is this lab mic or lapel mic. And this is what I'm excited to use uh, out in the field recording to my phone wirelessly with this mic. So that is what I'm most excited about. Let me see if this works because that's what I've been looking for for a while and been wanting to get. So I'm hoping that works out well for me. And this is the receiver. It's a USB receiver and it plugs into either uh, the computer or your phone. Uh, just to note um, for this, I did have to purchase separately a, I have an iPhone 8, so it has a lightning port. So I did have to buy the USB to lightning port um, in order for it to plug into my phone to record to that. So let's test it out in here. Right now I am recording audio with my camera microphone and I have my air conditioning on so there's gonna be some background noise so I kinda of wanted to see how this picks up that background noise. Um, so let's check it out. So like I said before this is the wireless transmitter. It takes two AA batteries. I don't know what the battery life on this is yet. I just put them in there so it heads up two AA batteries. It did not come with them. You will need them. So yeah. So we can turn this on. On and off button right there. And look at that. It turns on and it shows you the frequency it is set to. Up on top there is a button to set and change the frequency as well as the input for the microphone. So first I want to try the headset so let's try that out. It just goes in front of your mouth. You don't want to put too close to your mouth. So I have the mic plugged in there. As you can see, I'm using a Mac. Um, so I'm gonna plug in the receiver. It's in there and it's lighting up blue. That's good. So it's plugged in now, it's all ready to go. It's pretty easy to set up. Uh, you just go to sound. So there we go. It's already selected there. USB, you can see it's picking it up there. All right, so we're gonna test it out now and see how it sounds. As you can see, I have it a little bit away from my face. Try it a little bit. That's right up against my mouth. And it definitely, that's definitely not where you want to put it. You're going like, to get a lot of pops and stuff. So you're definitely going to want to have it a little bit further away from your mouth. You don't want it too far away from your mouth because then you won't be able to hear too much. It doesn't seem to pick up too much background noise, which is good, which is exactly what I'm looking for in a microphone. I want it to be picking up me, not the stuff around me. It, it's, it, does, it works good. And like I said, it's transmitting wirelessly. Um, I'm not plugged in at all. So there you go. That is... The headset mic. Let's try the lav mic next. So now I'm testing out the lav mic. I have it plugged into the transmitter here and this is exactly what I want. I want it to be on my shirt. I want it to be clean. I like that and it doesn't matter where I move around. Anywhere I want to go it's gonna sound the same. So it's plugged into my computer right now which I'm recording to at the moment. What I ideally would be using this for on like a regular basis is going to be in the field. I'm gonna have this in my pocket or it does have a uh, a belt clip on the back. I just put it in my back pocket. But whatever you want to do. So I'd be having that attached to me and the transmitter will be plugged into my phone which I would also keep in my pocket. And I'd be recording out in the field and I can move the camera around, put the camera down, walk away from it and still be talking and have some nice audio recording to go with it. And uh, we're going to test that out. That's what I'm going to try next is taking this outside and seeing how it does in the field. All right, we're outside right now. As you can hear, it's a little windy. This is the mic from the camera. Um, so we're gonna test out this lav mic out here and see how it works. I'm gonna plug it into my iPhone. It just plugs in like that. And it should be working. This is on. I'm gonna put the mic on now and we'll test out how it sounds. And I'm recording with, this is the audio from the lav mic. So we'll see how it sounds in the wind. The nice thing is I can record and walk away from the camera and it should still record here because it's recording in my pocket and it doesn't matter how far away from the camera I am it's on my lapel so it can record the audio nice and clear like I said it's windy out so we'll see how that turns out with the audio all right so right now 
at the food court here testing it out. It's pretty loud in here. I got my transmitter here all ready to go. Lapel is on and we're gonna test it out. I'm rec recording now. It's recording to my phone. We're testing the audio out on the microphone here. Um, and hopefully it cuts out majority of the background audio because that's ideally what we're going for here is we want to pick up what's going on me and not what's around the camera, what I'm saying. And I can keep talking and you could just point the camera wherever you want. It doesn't matter what direction the camera is pointing because the mic's here. So yeah, this is ideally the situations I would be using the microphone in, um, in loud, busy places like this. So there you go, there's the field test for the lav mic. I thought it sounded pretty good there in the food court. It picked up my voice rather than everything around me, which the camera mic picked up. I thought the headset mic sounded really good. It was up close to my face, so it sounded a little bit better. That's the only thing I don't like about it, though, is when I use it, I can have it in front of my face. It's going to cover my face. I don't like that for videos. I'm going to use the lav mic. It was a little bit quieter since it was further away from my mouth than the headset mic, but I still thought it sounded good. So I think the price is really good for the quality of these microphones. Um, the transmitter works fine, didn't have any issues, receiver works good, editing the audio, it sounds good to me. I had to turn the lav mic audio up a little bit because it's further from my face, but it still sounded good to me, so I highly recommend it. For the price, it sounds really good. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the audio from the microphone, let me know what you thought of the review. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, and have a good one. We'll talk to you later, have a good day, bye-bye.